Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of GTCN's original lineup, The Latest Dish. And with me we have, yes indeed, Chef Eric Reed, Mr. Fry Master Flex. My name is Matt, and uh, today we've got a great show. It's, uh, we're going to be cooking. What are we going to be cooking? Uh, today we're going with the show. We're going to do pan seared duck quesadillas with Georgia Peach Boy salsa. That's right. Georgia Peach Boy is the name of our movie today. It's pretty unusual. It's about an unusual mother, an unusual child. If you didn't check us out last week, you definitely got to stay tuned this week because we have some gourmet food and some great flicks, so stick with us. Okay, we are back with the latest dish, and we've got some, what do you call them again? We're doing pan seared duck quesadillas with Georgia Peach Boy salsa today. All right, it's got me hungry. Let's go ahead and get started. What kind of prep do you have to do to get this okay. together? Okay, well, ahead of time, what I went ahead and did is uh, shredded our lettuce, which is going to be a finishing touch on our plate. Got some lettuce. Got a little sour cream, which is also going to be a finishing sour touch. Sour cream. And guacamole, another one of the finishing touches. What are we going to be eating? Yeah, he's been eating this stuff all day. Uh, we got some shredded jack cheese that we're going to put inside of our flour tortillas. So the, one of the first steps that we got to do today is we got to sear off our duck. And I was talking to you, Matt, earlier. We can use chicken. We can substitute this with mm -hmm. beef instead. You can even use ground beef if you want. It's up to your preference. If you want to do vegetarian, with grilled vegetables or something, so, uh, whatever you guys like to do. But we're doing duck today, so let's go ahead and get that seared. Sounds good. Sear off our duck, what does that okay. mean? What it's searing is, is actually we're going to brown it off, mm -hmm. not using any oil, mm -hmm. just using the natural fat off of the meat, especially duck. Duck's it's a really real fatty. fatty item. Yeah. Yeah, so actually we're going to end up pouring off the excess grease medium, uh, medium time through the cooking process. And the searin actually seals in the juice and causes caramelization, so it's going to get a nice brown Caramelization, color. that sounds pretty it's fancy. funky, yeah. We're chefs. We love to say <laughs> that stuff. So this stuff has been sitting in some herbs and spices? Actually, it's been sitting in a marinade. Marinade. And the marinade that we chose was to take uh, olive oil, wasabi <coughs> vinegar. That's a fire. <laughs> olive oil, That's wasabi all vinegar. Brown, right? Can you uh, see me, chef? Well, look over there and make sure the fire extinguishes over there, Matt. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Uh, fresh herbs, if a olive fire oil, breaks out. wasabi vinegar, and um, you can also pick up marinades in the store, like Mojo Marinades. Yeah. Uh, McCormick has different blends of marinades, and you would get something geared towards southwestern flavor. All right, so we're browning this. What okay. next? You get this seared off real good. Go ahead and get it turned and see a nice color on there, or caramelization. Well, that's hot. Yeah, it's a little warm. The pan's going to have to be about 350 degrees. And the best way to tell how hot the pan is, is if you come over while it's hot, drop a couple beads of water on the pan, and when they start beating up and dancing across the top, it's hot enough. All right. OK. What, what next? We got some salsa we got to make? All right. We're headed to our salsa. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take our duck breast. Man, that smells good. We get it seared off real good. Place them on the pan. Get this out of the fire. Always turn your pan handles away from the oven. Thank you for that safety tip of the week, Matt. Then we go <laughs> ahead. We're, we're going to put this in a 500 degree oven and we're going to leave it in there for about seven minutes. 500 degrees, that's 500 hot. degrees, that's warm. A lot of home ovens don't cook as high as our commercial oven, so that's mm -hmm. why it's going to be up there. But it's only on for seven minutes. All right, let's go ahead and make some salsa. Man. Sounds good. Now, this is Georgia Peach Boy salsa, so this is your own recipe? Yeah, this is a house recipe, Georgia Tech house recipe. And it's involving peaches. I've never heard of peach salsa. Yeah, what we're going to do is take the peach, and you saw me start cutting around the peach end to end. Then just pull Make it sure open. there's not a baby in there. Yeah. Okay, we're safe. Right, we're safe. <laughs> okay. And there's nothing but a seed we're scooping out. Okay, so it's okay. good, good. Just take a spoon, work it around there a little bit. Pop that baby out. Yeah. Chef, always, do do I get to cut today? Last week you wouldn't let me cut. Uh, maybe next episode. <laughs> Let's see. 
I'll tell you what you can oh, do. I'm going to go right. ahead. I'm going to cut it up, and I'm going <laughs> to let you go ahead and add it to our salsa. And what we did is make fresh salsa, or alias pico de gallo. We took fresh diced tomatoes, fresh cilantro, mm -hmm. garlic, and onions. You guys don't want to do that. You're in a hurry. You want to simplify it. There you right are, there. right there. Pick it up at your local grocery store or at the West Side Market. Love those little endorsements there. <laughs> <laughs> Got to pay the bills. All right, you're cutting this up. And we're going to be adding this into an original like tomato base salsa. Yep, it's uh, Roma tomatoes, fresh cilantro. It's real funky. Cilantro adds that real crisp taste to yeah, the salsa, that's right? The, the air of Southwest, that's that flavor there. So why are these peaches not fuzzy? Why are these? This is the time of year that we're getting them right now. Actually, this is probably the worst time of year to get it, but this is when we were showing this film, so we had to do what we had to do. <laughs> they smell great, though. All right. Hopefully, they got a good flavor to them, too. And so I'm just going to get this diced up a little bit. And if you want to add it, All right, I'll chef. leave a little chunks, get a little color in there. We're going to add this to there. Can I stir it, Chef? Yeah, you can do that. Yes. No, uh, let me make sure the spoon's not sharp. Yeah, you can. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll be fine. We're stirring this up. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more to it, too. All right, the salsa looks like it's done, and uh, what else do we have to do? Okay, we're going to let our duck continue cooking, and then we're going to bring it out and let it rest for a while. And while we're cooking that duck, we're going to go to the Georgia Peach Boy. There's a reason why we wondered if there was a baby inside of this. I know it sounds weird, but stay tuned, and you'll know exactly how weird we're talking. We're back, and uh, this is a strange town here. <laughs> but you know what? Being from Northeast Georgia and the boonies, stranger things have happened. Oh, We're not even going to go into that. <laughs> let's go ahead and start cooking, Chef. What's next? All right. Let's make sure nothing strange has happened with our duck here. We're All gonna right. Go ahead How long has this been out. cooking? This has been seven minutes. Seven minutes. Here's our duck. Man, that looks good. And, and we're, we're going to pull it over there. there. Exactly. We're going to pull it over there, and we're going to let it rest. And we're going to actually start our preparation for the quesadillas. Why do you let it rest? Let it rest that way. It firms up. None of the fresh juices escape from it. And we go ahead and slice it now. All that it good all stuff releases. just comes oh, out. Oh, I see. I never knew exactly. that. All right, we've got some Monterey Jack cheese and our uh, Georgia Peach Boy salsa and some quesadillas. You've had these underneath a wet napkin. Why do you exactly. do that? Exactly. Stop the cracking because, mm -hmm. you know, with them being out here in the air, it'll start on the cracking. We don't want them falling apart in the you. skillets. Then what we did is we took our skillets, yeah, we've had them heated up for probably about seven, eight minutes now. Mm -hmm. Nice and Medium warm. to high, yeah, exactly, medium to high, not too hot because they end up browning the uh, tortillas too that much. That happens all the times with quesadillas. They're all, you burn the quesadillas and your jack hasn't melted yet. Exactly. All right. So hopefully we're going to slow down that process a little bit. Today. All right, Chef, can I help? You know what? Yeah, you can help today. <laughs> yes. All, all right. right. What am I doing? All we got to do is just add one quesadilla one to quesadilla. it. One quesadilla? Mm-hmm. And what we're going to do is just lightly toast that one side of there. Mm -hmm. And if you're at home, I recommend that you guys go ahead and get some tongs. And chef, we got a real bad habit of doing this number in the hot pan. So just Man, I do that over. too. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm right. a chef. Don't just try this in your dorm room. All right. Once we go ahead and get that flipped over, that's great. Then we want to go ahead and top it with our cheese. And, and we're going to add about two ounces of cheese to it today. Should you always have your cheese uh, shredded? Yeah, it's the easiest way. If you end up putting in cube cheese or, you know, you're taking a block and then slicing it by hand, it gets evenly messy, melt. inconsistent. Yeah, exactly. And you said you were a pretty big cheese head. You like Jack. How about yeah. we add a little bit more? Now, if, what, what, if you didn't like Jack cheese, what would you use? If you didn't like jack cheese, you can use Colby, you can use cheddar in here, and you can use a combination of them. Mm -hmm. If you want it a little spicy or like a jalapeno jack, something like that, make it a little funky, that's cool too. Next All thing right, so that we, we want to do, yep, and then we want to go ahead, and we're going to add about two teaspoons of our Georgia Peach Boy salsa. And then we just want to spread that out a little bit. If you want to hit this oven for me, Matt. I can do it, Chef. I won't let you down. And while Matt's doing that, and don't worry, folks, it's not no sharp objects over that, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut up our duck. Man, this is moving right now, along. One duck breast or one chicken breast is going to go ahead and do, yield two quesadillas. And would one quesadilla be enough for one person, or would they normally go with two? 
one regular person, but I saw the way you were eating gumbo last episode, <laughs> so one regular person or two for, for Matt here. And then we're just gonna take our sliced duck and we're gonna spread it out a little bit. Get it even in there. All right, our cheese is starting to melt. It's looking good. Same thing. Get it in there a little even. Look like we kind of shortchanged that guy a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, can have that that's one. Be, I knew that was going to happen. All right, well, it looks like we just got to brown these things up. And when we come okay. back, we're going to have our taste test. Taste test. But you've got to stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of the Georgia Peach Boy. Man, I love happy endings, and I'm excited, even more excited about the happy conclusion to our baking and cooking extravaganzas today. Let's get these things cut it up, cut it up, and serve them up, Chef. All right. Back with our quesadillas. I'll tell you what we're gonna do first, Matt. We're gonna get a little garnish to go along with this stuff. Presentation, and presentation, presentation. We're gonna add a little bit of shredded lettuce. Let's get a little bit of sour cream here. Is that low-fat sour cream? Oh yeah. Sure, low that's what they all say. Low-fat guacamole too. Low-fat guac and a side of low-fat fat. <laughs> Low fat fat back to go in the case of this. <laughs> Low fat fat back. <laughs> Eat till your heart's content. We're gonna put a little bit of our Georgia Peach Boy salsa too here. Okay, we're gonna nice. pop over to our quesadillas. So you guys can leave them whole, but for today we're gonna choose to cut them. And we're gonna cut them in three, just like you were cutting up half of a pie. Chef, these are very good. Thanks, Matt. Well, I'm talking with my mouth full. I was a little bit skeptical about the peaches and the cheese thing. I didn't know if it was going to work, but it came together. It looks like we have another fabulous show under the belt. And uh, always check us out with the latest dish every week. And uh, if you want to check out our recipes or you want to know the recipe to some of your favorite dishes, check us out on the web, www.gtcn.gatech.edu forward slash latest dish. That's all for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Thanks guys. Start eating.